Hey guys, so I am back out at my local Goodwill store and I'm here to do some sourcing. I have gone out already like once or twice I think this week and I have found some pretty good items but I'm still just kind of running into the same problem. Like I'm just not finding that much. So, you know, I do run into that, you know, from time to time, I will go through like dry spells where I'm just not finding that much when I go out to do sourcing. But I don't know, I feel like this time, it seems like it's lasting a lot longer than usual. So I'm just really wanting to have a really great haul. So hopefully, maybe I can have that today. Let's go in here and see what I can find. So I started off my thrift trip over in the tops section and I haven't really been picking up as many tops as of lately. I've just been finding that the profit margins that I really am trying to hit, I have a harder time doing that with tops. Um, at this particular Goodwill, I ended up just finding a lot of mall brands, some pretty dated pieces, honestly. I think I found one top, it was like a J. Crew. Uh, wrap top that had comps for about 25 to 30 dollars but other than that not a lot going on in the tops I next went over to the jeans but I quickly spotted a dress out of the corner of my eye that I wanted to run really quick and take a look at this ended up being a Zara dress and it was nice but it was just sort of plain so I ended up putting that back I usually find really great dresses at this Goodwill um, unfortunately though today I didn't find anything I saw this one gap floral maxi dress that I considered they had it marked at 649 but after running comps I left that behind so back over to the jeans jeans are definitely one of my favorite um, sections to source I find that jeans ultimately have higher profit margins especially if you can find really good in-demand brands and styles. I came across these Tyler Bow gingham pants though over in the jeans section. Tyler Bow retails for a lot, but I've just been finding that my Tyler Bow pieces have been just sitting for me, so I decided not to pick those up. Um, overall, I think I found maybe one pair of jeans at this Goodwill this day, so it was really, really picked over. This was a pair of Prana New with Tag jeans. They wanted $15.99 for these, but they were skinny style and like a black wash. I thought they might sit. This was a pair of Miss Me jeans I found. They wanted $7.99. These were in great condition. I found these over at the dressing room section, so I definitely wanted to grab those. I found these Ugg boots. They were really nice, but they had this giant stain on the front. Um, they wanted $8.99, which is really not a bad price, but I didn't want to try to clean those, so I left those behind. Next, I found these great New Balance tennis shoes. These were like brand new. They wanted $9.99. They were a really great, nice, like neutral color, so I grabbed those. They had so many winter boots at this Goodwill. Next, I went over to the Marked Up rack, and I've been finding it so interesting to see what some of these Goodwills are marking up. A lot of this stuff was, you know, not even new with tags, kind of mall brands. Here was a pair of Christopher and Banks, like blue skinny jeans for $9.99, Saddlebred jacket for $9.99. Um, a pair of Kim Rogers new with tags pants. They wanted $9.59 for those. Torrid sweater, which I do like Torrid, but this was marked at $10. Um, another item I noticed was this airy sweater. It had a TJ Maxx tag of $12.99. All right, next I looked at the book section. This is definitely a personal favorite section for me. I am a big reader and man, books are really expensive nowadays. So this is my personal favorite section to look through when I'm thrifting. I found this awesome Downton Abbey coffee table book. It was gorgeous. It was like brand new. I am a huge Downton Abbey fan, so I was excited. That definitely went in the buggy. Here was a Downton Abbey poster I also found, and they had a lot of really cool like vintage pieces on this particular day. I found this awesome like 1970s retro telephone, which was super cool. Um, I didn't pick any of these up though. I don't have a lot of experience selling like vintage hard goods, but 
A lot of great items, a Keurig coffee maker. Again, a lot of like retro, like kitchenware. I know a lot of people love thrifting that kind of stuff. Here was um, the bag section at this Goodwill. I did look through it, but it was kind of a bust. Next, I went over to the coats and I found this great Zara black puffer coat. They wanted $11.99, I grabbed that. These were a pair of BOC brown leather like heeled clogs. These were gorgeous, I loved these. They wanted $7.99, so comps looked great. I definitely grabbed those. Next, I headed over to the kids department and I have been finding a lot of really great items that people are putting back over in the kids section. So I've been uh, making sure I hit all sections when I'm at the thrift store. I ended up finding this green Lacoste men's t-shirt. They wanted, I believe $4.99 for this one, but I have no luck selling Lacoste, so I left that one behind. All right, I did another take through the jeans and headed over to the skirts. I found this great like denim maxi skirt, which is really in demand right now. It's a really popular look for spring and summer, but I didn't grab either of these. They were kind of, you know, dated kind of brands, but I'm definitely on the lookout for the denim maxi skirts. All right, so let's jump into today's haul. I'm actually gonna share with you all pretty much everything that I've picked up during the last week. So I've gone out almost probably every day this week. So, you know, mainly due to the fact that when I've been going, it just seems like I'm not finding as much. So instead of going out like maybe once or twice a week, I have been going out almost every day during the week. Um, trying to basically compensate for how little I'm actually finding when I go each time. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up this week. Let's go ahead and get right into the haul. All right. So first I have this Kate Spade bag. Um, this was actually behind the counter and I didn't notice it until I was checking out. Um, and so obviously I spotted it and asked if I could see it. So they had this Kate Spade bag priced at $19.99, which honestly, I still think is a pretty good price. So the only problem with this one is you can see the inside definitely needs um, a cleanup, but the outside looks great. I mean, it's in great condition. So I did run comps on this. I can't remember now what the exact name of this bag was, but I did see that this bag, like new with tags on Poshmark, was selling for like $225, I believe. So this one is not new with tags, but I think if I can get the inside cleaned up pretty good, that I could probably, you know, list this one, I don't know, somewhere around 100 At least that was kind of my thinking. So paid 20 really cute. It's obviously hot pink, which is a really great color for this spring and summer. So I do think it will do well. So that was a really great find. I also picked up this little bag and I just thought this one was really cute. It's like a camel color. It's got the little like tortoise, you know, um, details, but it's brand new. You can see it still has the little you know, covering here on the zipper. So I paid $4.99 for this one. Um, this one doesn't have a brand. It's one of those like non-brand kind of bags, but I just thought it had a lot of cute little details. So I picked it up and I thought maybe I would run this in like one of my live shows um, coming up. So just a cute little bag, $4.99. I don't really know. Maybe I'll run it in a live show for like, you know, 15, 20 somewhere around in there, but just a cute little bag. All right, this is a black puffer coat. This one is actually by J. Crew Mercantile. There is the tag, and I paid $8.99 for this one. So it's in great condition. You know, it is an extra, extra small, which I am like pretty much trying to avoid, honestly, picking any more extra smalls up. Um, not that they don't sell. I have sold a ton of extra small. I do just find they just tend to sit a little bit longer, but this was in great condition. It's a great like puffer coat by J. Crew. So I did go ahead and grab this one. Um, you know, I'll probably list this one somewhere around like 45. Next, I found this coat. Um, this one, 
really cute style. This one's actually just Old Navy. So it's a size small and let me find the tag here. I paid $11.99 for this one. So I don't know, $11.99 may, might be a little high for an Old Navy coat, but I have had some success in selling Old Navy like blazers and coats, outerwear, things like that. So I don't usually pick up Old Navy in terms of like jeans or tops, dresses mostly. It's mostly just their jackets and blazers that I like to pick up, but um, I'll probably list this one for around 40. So it's just cute, really nice, you know, classic style. And then I also picked up this really great Calvin Klein jacket. This one is really long. It like comes to like mid calf. So it's a really nice long, you know, feather down puffer jacket. There is the tag. It is a size small and I paid $11.99 for this one. This one actually retails for like, I think it was like $2.25. Um, similar comps for this one look like they were selling up to like $75, $80. This one's in excellent condition. It's a really nice, like neutral color. So even at $11.99, I definitely still wanted to grab this one. I think I can probably list this one for around, again, 75 to 80. Um, obviously it's winter, you know, so I've got a little bit before it will probably sell, but this is like the time to be picking up winter items. Everyone is spring cleaning. Everybody's cleaning out all of their winter items. So as much as I like go thrifting in hopes of finding, you know, spring dresses and things like that, if I come across really amazing like winter items, I know this is the time of year that I need to be sourcing those in preparation for fall and winter. All right, next I grabbed this maxi length soft surroundings dress. This one was a size large. So I ran comps on this one and they were okay. I mean, maybe 30 to 35. I paid 649 for this one. I love picking up soft surroundings, but I do find that, you know, some of their pieces that are just more plain do tend to sit for a little bit or maybe not bring as much as some of their really pretty like patterned maxi dresses but this one was in great condition. It was a size large, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I'll probably list it for around, probably like 35. All right, this little dress is by the brand Calypso St. Barth. There is the tag. This one was a size small, really cute like linen tunic, and I paid 649 for this one. This is a really great brand to be on the lookout for. Um, I usually will even pick up this brand in like tops and things like that. So I really do like finding this. This being a linen kind of tunic style dress, hopefully this performs pretty well, you know, currently. So I'll probably list this one somewhere around, you know, 45 to $50. Okay, these were a pair of jeans. These are by Beta Brand. So there is the tag. These were a size large. I love picking up Beta Brand. Um, really great brand. Gets a lot of activity. I have actually, this is a brand that I've listed and sold within seconds before. So it's definitely a brand I'm always looking for. I paid $7.99 for these. And I actually don't think I've ever sold a pair of Beta Brand jeans. I typically find this brand in like, you know, their like dress pants. So we'll see how these do. I mean, comps, comps look pretty good. So I'll probably list these around 45 or so. So excited to see how those do. Okay, these were a pair of pants, um, kind of just like denim, loose kind of like drawstring pants. These were by Cloth and Stone. They're a size small. So these were new with tags. I still have the TJ Maxx tag. Um, I paid $5.49 for these. So Cloth and Stone is a brand. It's actually was sold a lot of anthropology. However, I used to pick up a lot of their dresses. And at least for me, I had a really hard time moving them. Um, so when I saw these, I really, really debated. I was like, I don't know if I should grab these or not, but 
I did pick them up since they were brand new with tags. You know, I'll probably list these for like 30, maybe 35. They're really cute and they're again, brand new, but you know, I just haven't had all that much success selling cloth and stone recently. All right, this next item is a men's like cardigan sweater. This one's by J. Crew, and it is a size medium. I loved the look of this. I've been trying to pick up a lot more men's. I used to pick up all kinds of men's items and I just kind of stopped going through the men's that often. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of going through the men's section. So I paid $4.99 for this sweater. I'll probably list this one somewhere around 40. Just a really you know, nice men's cardigan J. Crew sweater. Oh, right. This one is a new with tags Max Studio dress. There's the tag. It's a size small. Um, this one retails for $128. It does have the TJ Maxx tag on it as well. But, you know, it's just a really cute little, like, floral midi dress. It's got the little, like, ruffles at the sleeve. So I actually picked this up um, thinking I would run this maybe in a live show. So, you know, it's more of a current season item, pretty cute, brand new. So I paid $6.49 for this one. I would probably list this somewhere around $35. Um, surprisingly, you know, with, with Mac Studio, I don't usually pick up anything else except for their midi and maxi length dresses. And I usually try to hold out for new with tags. So this just kind of checked off all those boxes. Um, so, you know, I'd probably list it for around like 30 to 35. Okay, next, this is a maxi length dress. This was a Lily Pulitzer piece. This one was a size medium. And I paid $6.49 for this one. This one's in great condition. Um, I did try to look this one up. I did have a little bit of hard time trying to like find this exact one, but from what I could tell, comparable dresses look like they were selling for around like 60. So that's probably where I'll list this one. Again, it's a size medium and it's in great condition and it's maxi length. So all really good kind of key features. All right, these were a pair of athletic leggings. These are by Zaya. Here is the inside tag. It looks like this. Um, these were a size, it's really hard to tell, but they're a size six to eight, which is a great size. I paid $5.49 for these. Zaya is a great athletic wear brand that I'm always on the lookout for. I almost always grab it um, as long as it's in really good condition. So again, I'll probably list I usually like to list these Zaya leggings somewhere around like 30 to 35. And I find that at that price, I get a lot of activity and I usually can move them pretty quickly. All right, I was really excited to find these. These are the brand Cool. Um, these are a size eight regular and they're in excellent condition. They're gray, they're full length. So this is a really great like outdoor kind of like hiking brand that I'm always on the lookout for. And it's been a while since I've come across it. So, I mean, I kind of thought, man, this is the perfect time of year to find these. So I was really excited. I paid $5.49 and I'll probably list these somewhere around like 50. Um, and I, I find that like the previous times that I've listed these, that's usually around like where they sell. So these being a great size, I think these are gonna do really good. All right, this was a J. Crew black sweater blazer. I love this piece by J. Crew. So I did pay up for this one. I paid $11.99 and you know, that is kind of paying up. I think like blazers are usually like $5.49 but I love these J. Crew sweater blazers. And in the fall, they usually perform really well. So, you know, again, I know we're kind of getting into spring and summer, but this, when the time comes, performs really well. So I usually will list these somewhere around like 40 to $50. And in the fall, you can definitely get that for these. Probably right now, probably not, but this one's in great condition. It, let's see, this one was a size small. And I've actually sold this um, exact same piece in like a camel color. 
and I think another color as well, maybe like a white one. So I I have some experience selling these, and so I know I could probably get again between forty and fifty. Okay, I also found this other J. Crew blazer. This one was new with tags. It is a size two. I paid five forty nine for this one really cute it's even got the little like shoulder pads inside so it's a cute little you know kind of like pinstriped blazer probably will list this around 45 and i actually came across quite a few blazers this week and i did go ahead and grab them again thinking towards the future of fall so this one was another kind of like houndstooth plaid style blazer this one was h and m and this one was a size six. I paid $5.49 for this one. You know, H&M is one of those brands that I used to never pick up and I quickly learned that some of some H&M pieces can actually perform really well, some of their dresses and some of their outerwear pieces. So, you know, in terms of their blazers, obviously the comps are kind of mixed and all over the place, but I'm probably gonna list this one for around 40. Um, again, I would probably have to wait until like the fall to get that for it, but I do think it will sell somewhere around that price. I also picked up this one. This is again, another H&M kind of plaid blazer. This one's actually a little bit longer. It's really cute. Um, this one was a size large. And again, all of these were really good sizes. Had all of these been like a size zero, I don't know, maybe I wouldn't have picked them up, but they were all great sizes, great styles. I paid $5.49 for this one. And again, kind of like the other one, I'll probably expect, you know, to list this in the fall for around like 40. All right, this was a black blazer, um, really classic. This one was by Zara. So there is what the tag looks like. This one was a size us large um i paid 8.99 for this one so i did pay a little bit up but these zara blazers always do so well for me so you know even with the price being up a little bit i was totally fine paying that this is like a really classic kind of style and look um these zara blazers some of these zara blazers i mean they can sell over a hundred dollars so Probably I will list this one somewhere around like 65 to 70. And again, as we get into fall and winter, it will, I think, totally sell for somewhere around that price. All right, and then the last blazer was another H&M blazer. This one was also really pretty. This really pretty like light gray plaid, double breasted, really cool piece. This one was a size medium. Um, I paid $5.49 for this one, and again, like the other two, probably will list it for around $40. All right, and then I also found some Lily Pulitzer um, another day this week, and this one was so cute. So this is actually a little girl's dress, and it was a size 10. It was brand new with tags. It looks like it retails for $58.00. So there is the tag, really cute little dress. Um, I paid $2.99 for this one. I would probably list this close to retail. Probably I'll list it for around 50 because it is adorable, excellent condition, and just darling. So really excited to find that. And then I also found this right next to it. This is like a half zip pop over for little girls. Um, this one was a size extra large, 1214. There is the tag, and I paid $2.99. Again, perfect condition, looks amazing, so adorable. We'll probably list this one somewhere between $40 and $50 as well. Okay, here's another men's item I grabbed. This is just like a short sleeved polo shirt. This one is by the brand Peter Millar. There is the tag. This is a great brand for men. Um, this one's an extra large, so really good size for men's. I paid 4 dollars 
So, you know, in terms of this brand, I'm always looking for it in the shorts, like pants. It's a really good like golfing brand as well. So, I don't know, I'll probably list this one somewhere around like 25 to 30, um, but it gets a lot of activity and I find it usually sells pretty quick if it's in really good condition. Okay, next up is a pair of jeans. These are by the brand DL1961. Um, these are, let's see, the angel ankle jeans. They're a size 32 though, which is a really great size. I paid $7.99 for these. I love picking up this brand. I actually just sold a pair of jeans this brand um, just like a few days ago. So I get really excited when I find it. I don't come across it very often, but if I come across it and it's in good condition, I do like to pick it up. So I think when I looked these up, um, that this style was selling, I wanna say like 35 to 40. So again, this being a good, like larger size, um, hopefully I can at least get, again, 35 or so for them. All right, this was another coat that I picked up, really cute. Um, this one was another Old Navy and it's a size small. I loved the color of this. It's like a gray kind of herringbone style. I paid, again, $11.99 for this one since it's like a longer, styled coat but again with these old navy longer coats i usually list these somewhere around like 40 to 45 dollars and usually they do sell around that price if it's in fall and winter i also picked up these little clogs these were brand new with tag um, they retail for 35 and i paid 9.99 for these I will probably list these closer to retail, probably around 30, but they're just some cute little black clogs by Universal Thread. All right, this was a Lily Pulitzer top I picked up. It is a size extra small, but it's kind of more of like a like oversized kind of look to it. It's in really good condition. Um, I paid $4.99 for this one. Um, I think I'll probably list this probably around, again, 30, but I do like picking Lily Pulitzer up in tops. Uh, I don't pick it up a lot in tops. Um, it just kind of depends on the style and things like that. So I just happen to really like that, like the color and look of it. So I did grab it. This was a Patagonia jacket. Um, there is the tag. This one was a woman's extra small. It is in great condition. There's maybe a better view of it. Let me find the little Goodwill tag here. Um, oh, there it is. I paid $4.99. So usually at my Goodwills, they mark Patagonia up. Um, I feel like they usually mark it up somewhere around like $25. And I usually pay that for it um, just because it's Patagonia and I know I can still, you know, even paying up for Patagonia, I know that I can still probably, you know, get 50 to $60. So this one was $4.99, so that was super exciting. And I'll probably list this one probably somewhere around 50 to $60. All right, this, was a trench coat that I picked up. This one was by Banana Republic. Um, it is a size extra small. I paid $8.99 for this one because it is like a shorter kind of trench, but I loved it. It's in excellent condition. Trench coats do so well for me. If I find it in like, you know, J. Crew, Banana Republic, Gap, you know, brands like that, they do really well. So I will probably, I think I did look this one up and I think it was like doing really well, like selling still for like 50 to $60. Um, and I remember thinking that's great. So again, I paid $8.99 for this one. I'll probably list it probably 50 to 60. All right, these were a pair of Spanx jeans. There is the tag. These were a size small. I love picking up Spanx jeans. 
I paid $5.49 for these, and I will probably list these. I think the last pair I listed probably somewhere around like $50 to $60. Um, and, you know, depending on the style, these are kind of like a skinny style, so I don't really know how that will affect them. But I had a pair of like kind of uh, wide leg Spanx, and they sold so fast. Um, and for like full price of like $95. So I do kind of feel like, you know, the straight to wide leg, if you can find them in Spanx, is like ideal. But I mean, I'm still picking them up even if they're skinny, if they're Spanx. All right, this was a little Barefoot Dreams top. So incredibly soft. It is an extra small I paid $4.99 for this one, and I actually don't even know if I looked this one up because I was just like, I'm definitely going to grab it, but I love Barefoot Dreams. I do realize it's not selling, you know, for as much and as well as it used to sell for, but I still sell it. Um, I still feel like it's worth picking up. I just, I love Barefoot Dreams, so I definitely had to grab this one just like no matter what. Okay, let's see. This was an Athleta like sweatshirt. Um, this one, let's see, was a size small. And I paid $4.99 for this one. It's super comfy, really like stretchy. It's got like the front pockets. It's super nice. So I definitely wanted to grab it. I love selling Athleta. Um, I'll probably list this one somewhere around 30 to 35. Okay, this is a like denim jumpsuit and it is super sturdy. It feels amazing. It's actually universal thread. Um, there's the tag. It's a size zero, but uh, it was brand new with tags. So, you know, I love Universal Thread. I love Target, like dresses and jumpsuits and things like that. I don't grab all of them, but I do like to run comps. And some of their pieces, they just, they do really well, even, you know, secondhand. So I did look up this jumpsuit and it looked like it was selling for around 30 to 35. So I grabbed it. I paid $6.49 for it. Super cute. I love it. Hopefully it does pretty well. All right, this was a top. Um, this one was actually by Spanx. There is what the tag looks like. It is an extra small, but it was in excellent condition and it was white. And so when I first saw it, I was like, oh no. But I did really try to thoroughly look over it and I didn't notice any flaws. So hopefully I didn't miss anything, but I paid $4.99 and it feels so nice. I love this top. I'll probably list it for around like 35. All right, this was another blazer. I just, I felt like I found so many blazers this week, but I just grabbed as many as I could because again, I know um, in a few months, I'm not gonna be able to find them. So this one was a new with tags, like green blazer. This one's by Eloquy. Um, it's a size 24. And I believe that this one was new with tags. Hold on just a second. If I can, yeah, brand new with tags. There's the tag. I paid $9.99. So it was marked up a little bit for blazers, but brand new with tags. And I actually had another Eloquy blazer. It was kind of like a denim kind of blazer by Eloquy. And I had never really sold blazers by them before. I'd only sold dresses. Um, I'd actually picked up like some pants and a skirt by them and they did not perform well for me. So I was really nervous, but that blazer, guys, it sold so fast and for like full price, I could not believe it. So, you know, I do love selling Eloquy dresses. I actually just sold an Eloquy dress over on eBay today. So it's, it's a brand that does perform really well for me. So again, I definitely would suggest picking up their blazers. Again, I've only sold one, but you know, I do think that the blazers seem like they could be a great category by them. So we'll see how this one does, but I was really excited to find this one. Okay, 
These were a pair of Miss Me jeans. There they are. Again, I found these over at the dressing room area. So again, always make sure to check the dressing rooms. You just never know what's gonna be there. I paid $7.99 for these. Um, you know, these were a, a smaller size and I, that, I really still kind of debated because they're a size 24, but I went ahead and grabbed them. We'll see what happens. They are really good like style, they're boot cut. So we'll see what happens. I'll probably list these around maybe like 40 to 45, but every time I pick up these Miss Me jeans, they always surprise me. They always sell like pretty quickly. So I actually came up, uh, across another pair of these when I was out yesterday, um, but they were kind of like a capri kind of length. And I, I ended up not picking them up just because I didn't really know how it would, how it would do, but I do love picking up these Miss Me jeans when I come across them. All right, this next one is a huge black puffer coat. This one is by Zara. There is the tag. Um, again, it's a size large. I paid $11.99 for this one, and I love finding Zara outerwear. Um, I will probably list this one somewhere around like 60 to 65. It is in excellent condition. It is a great size really great kind of like classic style, classic color. So I do think this is gonna perform really well. I don't pick up like all Zara coats, but these big oversized kind of like puffer style coats by them, I find tend to do pretty well. So I definitely knew I wanted to grab that one. All right, this next item is a J. Crew white like wrap style blouse. And this one's a size small. I paid $4.99 for this one. I used to pick up a lot of J. Crew tops. I don't do that anymore. I've kind of learned uh, over the years that they just don't bring very much typically. I mean, I'm talking even like new with tags, J. Crew tops just kind of sit. So I am a lot more selective about the tops I do pick up by J. Crew, and there are some that do perform really well. So it's just one of those items that you really need to look up and you need to run comps on. Um, just because it's brand new with tags, it just, you know, doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna perform great. But this one looked pretty good. Um, it looked like it was selling for around 30. So I did grab it. Again, I paid $4.99 for it. It's in great condition, really cute, like white blouse for summer. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. All right, I also found these like brown leather clogs. I love these so much. I paid $7.99 for these and they are brand new, like brand new, never been worn. These are by the brand BOC Bach. Um, I used to actually pick this brand up quite a bit and I just haven't really come across um, any like great looking like styles by them in a while at the thrift store. But when I saw these, I was like, definitely. Um, I actually tried these on and I was like really tempted to keep them, but they're great. I did look up comps. Comps looked really good, like $45. So I paid $7.95. I mean, $7.99. Um, I think I can sell them for around $40 to $45. Okay, these were another pair of brown leather sandals that I grabbed. Uh, these are by the brand Sass. There is the bottom of them. I paid $7.99. So Sass is actually a brand that I was not familiar with until I got a thread up shoe box and I was actually like going through it and I was like, I don't think these are good. And somebody was like, no, those are great. Like that's probably the best thing in your box. Those are gonna sell for a lot. So that's kind of like how I learned about this brand. So thank you Thread Up Shoebox, but they sell for great. So I did look up comps on these and some of the comps on this brand are so surprising. They're like, 60, 70, 80 dollars. So definitely if I come across this brand now, um, I run comps and these looked good. These are a size, let me see, um, a size nine and a half. So good size, again, leather, excellent condition. 
I probably will list these around probably like 50 to 55. And I think that that will be a really good price that gets a lot of activity and probably, I hope, sells quickly. Okay, I also grabbed these boots and love these things. These are so, just a, a really great like classic fall boot. Um, these were by a brand that I've actually never picked up before. They're called Aqua, oh gosh, you guys already know, I am so bad at pronouncing these brands. Aqua Talia, I don't know. Okay, there you guys go. You can see it on the screen there. I did look these up and these retail for $4.95. Yeah, amazing. So I went over to Poshmark to check some comps and comps looked pretty good. There was a range, but most of them, it looked like they were selling between like, I wanna say like 60 and 100. So I did pay $9.99 for these, but these looked amazing. They were in such great condition. So really excited to find these and definitely a brand now that I know about this brand that I'm gonna be on the lookout for. Okay, this was a new with tags, hot pink J. Crew dress. It's got this giant like wrap around giant bow. This one was a size 20. And again, it was brand new with tags. Retail says 118. I paid up for this one. I paid $12.49, but again, you know, I don't have a problem with paying up for these items as long as I know that the profit margins are still there. So I did run comps on this one and it looked like selling between 50 and 60. So that's pretty much why I was okay with paying the $12.49. Um, plus it's, you know, it's new with tags, it's a larger size and it's pink, which I feel like it's kind of like the official color of summer. So I think this should do pretty well. All right, this next dress is another super cute, like linen floral dress. This one's by the brand Joie. There's the tag. It's a size 3X and I paid $6.49 for this one. So I ran comps on this one and there was a lot of range on this piece. It seemed like some of like the like smaller sizes in this dress. We're only comping for like 25 to 30, but it looked like the larger sizes in this dress were doing great, like 35 to 45. Um, so this being a 3X, after I kind of looked everything over, I decided to go ahead and take a chance on it. Um, I'll probably will list it somewhere around 35 to 40, but it's really cute. Again, I love picking up linen for this time of year. So hopefully this does well. Okay, this was another jacket I grabbed. Um, really cool, like a quilted denim jacket. This one's by Urban Outfitters. There is the tag. It's a size small. Uh, I paid $8.99 for this one. And when I looked this one up, it seemed like there was quite a bit of range. It seemed like there was some of these that had sold for like 50 to 60 and some like 25 to 30. Uh, so, you know, when that happens, you really just kind of have to like make a decision, you know, and I just decided to go ahead and grab it. Um, I think that like the quilted coat kind of look is very popular. So I did grab it. I'll probably list it around 40 to 45. Um, yeah, I think it's a cool piece. All right, these were a pair of ballet flats I picked up and these are so pretty. I loved like the tan kind of cream neutral color of these, they're leather. The bottoms look amazing, they look brand new. The brand is Saludos, there is what it looks like. Let me show you guys the inside. Um, this is a great brand. I am always on the lookout for this brand. They make really, really well-made footwear. I usually like to pick these up in like the espadrille shoes. So I've actually never sold a pair of their kind of regular flats, but I love these. I think these are gorgeous. These were a size, let me see, nine. And I paid $7.99 for them, but look at the bottoms. I, these are brand new. So I definitely wanted to grab them. I'll probably list them for around 45 to 50. And they're just like a great classic ballet flat. I love them. 
All right, and then I also found these like leather heeled sandals. These are by the brand Clarks. So there is what it looks like. And I used to pick up Clarks fairly often, especially when I was going to the bins. I was like finding them a lot there. But Clarks perform pretty well. And I don't know, I just haven't really run across any Clarks that were like in a style that I liked in a long time. But I love these beautiful they're brand new they still have like the like new tag sticker on them um these are a size nine and i paid 7.99 for these so i did look these up and run comps and in brand new like new with tag condition it looked like they were selling for about 40 to 45 so they're a really good size they're gorgeous you know, 100% leather, nice style. So I think these will do well for the current season that we are in. So I was actually really excited to find these. So we'll see how these do. All right, so that was everything I picked up this week. I think it's somewhere around like 46 items. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see all of you again soon. Bye everybody. Standing underneath the lights Looking to other sides Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they